I am Cookie Masterson, and I am the face of the multi-billion dollar industry that is humorous trivia. Imagine if scientists could harness the brain power in this room. Revolutionary, I tell ya. Handle those screws carefully. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... The Alliance of Mole People for a Better America. Look, mole Americans hate terrorism and love freedom just as much as human Americans. Trust us, we're not up to anything. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Get ready, time for fashion. Right off the bat, Candy Crushed. Ah, I can't stop playing Candy Crush. It's like heroin. At first it was great, but now I hate it and it's ruining my life. If Candy Crush really is like heroin, what should I play to wean myself off of it? Barbital Crush Saga, Methadone Crush Saga, Zoplicone Crush Saga, or Methamphetamine Crush Saga? <laughs> Players 1 and 4? Oh yeah, I should start taking meth. That'll fix everything. <laughs> Players 2 and 3? Methadone is used for, among other things, drug detox programs. <laughs> Methadone isn't cheap, but it can't be more expensive than these $70,000 worth of app helpers I bought for Candy Crush. Thank God this game's free, otherwise can you imagine how much I would have spent by now? This one's known as Motley Shoe. And let's step into a dis or dat. Player one, you seem to be behind a bit. This dis or dat is all yours. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, tell me if it's a metal band from the 1980s and 90s or a style of women's boots. If it's a metal band, press the square button. If it's a style of women's boots, Press the circle button. Now the rest of you should listen carefully. Try to pick an answer before player one. If player one gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone else who got it right. Okay, let's move. Gladiator. Firehouse. Bondage. Cinderella. Wedge. Keel. Another brand of boots describes how you did this time. Ugh. <laughs> I'm no expert, but the best thing about women's boots is they make my ass look great. Next, so many disgusting ways to be American. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. You know the drill, if you get this one right, I'll send some extra cash your way. Put these movies in chronological order based on the time period they're set in, from earliest to latest. American Hustle, American Pie, American Psycho. Pie Psycho Hustle, Psycho Hustle. Player one, who's gonna get it? American Hustle is set in the 70s, American Psycho is set in the 80s, and American Pie is set in the late 90s, early 2000s. The 70s, 90s, and 2000s. Three different decades where Eugene Levy has played the exact same role. Unfortunately, Player One, you're screwed. I call this one, remove the stitches after 1001 Arabian Nights. 
What would be different about Aladdin's genie if he magically gave himself a genioplasty? You would have a- Oh! Player 3! Who's getting the screw job? Player 2, you're screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Can't do anything right, can you? Superlative use of the screw, Player 3. Don't stop there, get some more cash. Player 3? A genioplasty is a type of plastic surgery where the chin is augmented with an implant. Oh, I wish I had a genie. Your wish is my command. Uh, all I have is this lousy genie sound effect. Your wish is my command. Player 4? What a pity. Player 1? Congratulations, not. <laughs> Why not try... Flab Roller? How might a professional bowler respond if someone were to ask him how he manages to stay in such wonderfully below average shape? Rolling balls down a 28-foot lane is great for the beer gut. Rolling balls down a 63-foot lane keeps my back fat firm. Rolling balls down a 104-foot lane really tones the jowls. A regulation bowling lane is 63 feet long from the foul line to the pin deck. <laughs> I consider bowling good exercise. I mean, sure, gravity and momentum do 90% of the work getting the ball down the lane, but that other 10%, that takes some real slight arm movement. <laughs> Round one is in the books, and player three is at the front of the class. And leaving no doubt about it either. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And don't forget, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Okay, how about it? Take a good look at... A three-day getaway to beautiful Valhalla! Suppose Dante returns after his travels in the Divine Comedy and starts posting pictures to Facebook. What is he most likely to write about his second destination? Here's me in heaven, here's me in purgatory, here's me in hell, or here's me in Toledo. Players 1, 2, and 3? Player 4? In the Divine Comedy, Dante's first stop is hell and his third stop is heaven. And in between, his second stop is purgatory. It's funny to put pictures of purgatory on Facebook because endlessly scrolling through a Facebook feed full of vacation pics is actually what they make you do in purgatory. Question seven. Get up and change your monkey bag. Coming up next. Hey, wig spender. Hold on, I'm just going over my credit card bill. Who the hell spent $400 at the wig shop? I did, Danny. Billy O'Brien? No, Daddy O'Brien. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Billy. Daddy. Betty, how could you spend so much on a wigs? I'm, I'm trying to get my hair just right. I want to resemble Audrey Hepburn. Oh, speaking of which, what hairstyle must I get in order to look like Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's? Player two, who gets the player three? You're getting screwed. You got five seconds. <laughs> Player two, you handle that screw very well. Want a little more money? Player four? Players one and two? Audrey Hepburn famously had an utdo in breakfast at Tiffany's. Well, Betty, I must say the pixie cut looks very good on you. Oh, thank you. Why don't we go back to my place and mess around? Uh... <laughs> Billy, Betty, is your hair... Is, is that moss? Yes, it is. That explains the smell. Pretty alluring, is it not? Take a stab at... Gone with the Vin. 
Let's say all Vin Diesel movies can be put into two categories. Ones where his acting relies on grunting, or ones where his acting relies on sneering. What kind of chart should I use to find the movies where he both sneers and grunts? A Vin Diesel Vin diagram, a Vin Diesel Venn diagram, a Vin Diesel Vin diagram, or a Vin Diesel Van diagram? Player 3. Venn diagrams, spelled V-E-N-N, -N, feature circles that contain a set of data. In this case, where the circles overlap in the middle is where you'll find those awesome movies that have both grunting and sneering. And if there's one thing a Vin Diesel fan loves, it's using charts to analyze complicated data. Woohoo! Player 2. <laughs> Players 1 and 4. <laughs> no. It's time for Reduce, Reuse, Reheat. It seems like a lot of factories are going green these days. I don't like it. If there aren't plumes of smoke coming out of factory chimneys, then what are street urchins gonna choke on? Anyway, it got me wondering. If the Cheesecake Factory went completely green, what would be the only sauce they'd offer? Hollandaise sauce, chimichurri sauce, mole sauce, or... Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Made from parsley, the Argentinian sauce chimichurri has a bright green tint. And I like a lot of sauce on my cheesecake. Mmm, saucy cheesecake. No, mole is not your friend. Moles will be with this T-shirt of a mole holding an American flag, just like the one you won from the Alliance of Mole People for a Better America. Blindly follow us to a better tomorrow. This wrong answer of the game is worth eight thousand bucks for you. Nice job. Here's a good one. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus? Known to reach over 20 feet tall. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert... You got a player for Pick some of the screw. The screw is a new player, too. Five seconds to make a choice. Um, really? Superlative screwing player for. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Players 1, 3, and 4. One right answer coming up. The planet Uranus is way, way over 20 feet tall. I mean, it's at least 30 feet tall. Probably more. I don't know, I'd, I'd have to see it up close. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 bucks if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And don't forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Let's get Randy. Who's your Randy fella? Good luck.
Player 3 takes the win! Player 3, was that the best you could do? I mean, sure you won, but barely. You're gonna need to put forth a little more effort next time. That's the only way to stop me from saying... You don't know Jack! And now, relax into Downward Dog. Ooh. What's wrong, Susan? Is this yoga class too hard? No, I had a burrito for lunch and I'm feeling gassy. Honey, this is Sweet Relief Yoga Studio. We don't hold anything back. Now, swing your foot into Warrior 2. Whoa, did she just? Uh-huh. And that's okay? <laughs> Does that answer your question? Hi, I'm Carol Cutter, and here at Sweet Relief Yoga Studio, we believe letting go leads to true health. Oh. <coughs> Hold on, I'm gagging. True health. True health is what I was going to say. Come on down to Barbecue Street all week for some great deals on food and fixings. Mondays, it's 25% off Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings. <laughs> Tuesdays, it's 50% off whatever Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings are left over from Monday. <laughs> Wednesday, we've got 10% off our famous dry spice ribs. But make sure to come back on Thursday for 60% off a sampler platter of Monday's leftover Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Wednesday's dry spice ribs. Fridays, we kick things up a notch when you can get a free order of Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and dry spice rib soup. <laughs> just for walking in the door. And you're not going to want to miss Saturdays when we'll give you 10 bucks just to take some of these rotten chicken wings and ribs out of here. You don't even have to eat them. You just have to take them with you. Sundays were closed to hose the blade down. Barbecue Street. You're probably going to want to come in on Monday.